Hi, Turbo Boy. What a nice piece of gift wrapping paper you have there. What are you going to use it for? It's my mother's birthday tomorrow, and I'm going to wrap her present. That is so sweet of you. Have you bought a birthday card to go with the present? No, I think I'll make her a card, but I have no idea what to put on the cover. Why don't you draw patterns, like the ones on the gift wrapping paper on it? Patterns sounds difficult. No, it isn't. Let me show you how. We will start with a simple pattern. Firstly, you have to decide on some shapes or pictures you want to use. Remember not to have too many. Since the wrapper has squares and circles on it, we will use circles and squares. Starting from one corner of the card, we draw a square followed by a circle. Then we draw another square followed by another circle. Keep doing that until we reach the other end of the card. Once that is done, we have created a pattern. That isn't difficult at all. Okay, so a pattern is when you arrange a few shapes in a row in the same order. What you have done is making patterns using shapes. And by using different shapes, you can create different patterns. The important rule you must remember is that the order of the shapes must be the same. Take a look at some of these patterns. Can you tell me about them? These patterns are created using three shapes: triangle, circle, and rectangle. That's right. What about this one? Hmm, teacher, I think you have arranged the shapes in the wrong order. Look carefully, Turbo Boy. The shapes are arranged in groups, and in each there is a square and two triangles. Oh yes, I see it now. So the pattern goes: square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle. Yes, yes, Turbo Boy. That is quite enough. However, my mum likes colourful things. Can I change the colour, but not the shape? Sure, you can. Just as long as you keep the important rule about having a same order in mind. Oh, as long as I keep the order of colours the same, so I can always make patterns by changing the colours and not the shapes. Very good. Here is a pattern that has a change in colour. We can use as many colors as we like, but we must make sure that the order is the same for each pattern. Just like we can create patterns with changes in color, we can make patterns with changes in size. Whoa, this is interesting. Can I change both shape and color in the same pattern? Of course. For example. We can start the pattern with a red circle, followed by a white square, and continue through like this. Now, can you tell me the next one? It is a red circle. Good. Try the next one. What is the next shape, and what is its color? It should be a white square. Very good, Turbo Boy. Similarly. We can create different patterns by changing both shape and size, and by changing both color and size. I think I know all about patterns, and I can start making my cut now. Wait a minute! We can even make patterns with objects. With objects? Yes, objects like a cube, a cone. And many others. Just remember that you have to put your objects in the same order in a row. For example, start the pattern with a cube, followed by a cylinder, and continue through. We will end up with a pattern made with objects. Oh, great! But can we have other changes like changing color or size for making patterns with objects? Yes, we can do that too.
This is an example of a pattern made using objects with change in color. What color do you think is the next cone? It should be a blue cone. Good. How about you completing this pattern made with objects different in size? What should come next? A small cylinder should come next in the pattern. You are catching on fast. So, can you remember all you have learned today? Today's lesson is simple. As long as I remember the important rule that in the pattern, the shapes or objects must be put in a fixed order in a row. I can make different patterns by changing the shapes, objects, color, and or size. Excellent. Have fun making your mom's birthday card.